Good evening, East Alabama and West Georgia. Dr. Don with you and the Southern Union State Community College Live Severe Storm Center and the Shepherds Weather Center as we are going to stay with you for a little while now and do some severe weather coverage. It has been an incredible afternoon across the state of Alabama. Uh, we know for a fact we have at least five confirmed fatalities already in the Ohatchee area from a storm that moved across uh, Alabama uh, this afternoon. Uh, we know that there is uh, a lot of damage across the state of Alabama uh, and even in the northwest part of the state of Georgia uh, from these storms. This indeed has been a significant severe weather outbreak across the southeastern United States this afternoon into this evening. Uh, so let's set things up for you. It is 8.53 Central, 9.53 Eastern on your Thursday evening. Uh, and we are currently watching a thunderstorm, a severe thunderstorm in central Alabama. This is down in, in uh, Chilton County uh, near the town of Clanton. And this storm is going to continue moving off to the northeast. So those of you that follow us in uh, Coosa County... Uh, places places such as Wegufka and Rockford, you need to pay attention to this storm. Uh, and then looking a little bit further downstream up there around Goodwater, Sylacauga, and then eventually if the storm holds together, Millerville, Lineville, Ashland, and then even potentially over into Randolph County uh, a little later on this evening. Now, actually, we have a pretty decent storm in Clay County as we speak. It's between Millerville and Chambers Springs up here. Uh, we'll zoom in on that a little bit closer. Uh, this does not show any signs of being severe at the moment, but it could intensify quickly. Uh, so this could become a problem uh, for Clay County uh, in the next uh, hour or so as well. This is near Hatchet Creek. And then it moves on off to the southwest down to just to the east of Sylacauga. And again, right now, this is showing no signs of being severe, but we are noticing a few echoes in there that could be hail. And it is beginning to take on somewhat of an inflow notch down here on the southwest flanking side of the storm. So we'll have to keep an eye on this storm as it moves off to the northeast uh, over the next hour or so. But let's go back down to the severe thunderstorm uh, warned storm. This is down here near Clanton, Alabama, and you see that it has a distinct inflow notch down here just north of the Enterprise community in Chilton County. Heaviest part of the storm now is right near uh, downtown Clanton or maybe just a little bit north of downtown Clanton. There's a big water tower that sits up here on I-65. It's got uh, uh, a big peach painted on the side of it. That's about where the heaviest part of this storm is at the moment uh, and but this is the area right here that's moving over clanton that we would be concerned about if there is any rotation uh, indeed in this storm let me switch over to the velocity and we'll see and there is there is rotation in this storm it's very broad right now uh, so what you want to see is a very small area of red uh, touching green. That that would be an indication that you have a tightening thunderstorm cell that's rotating. Uh, right now, this storm is very broad, uh, but it is rotating. You've got green, which is an indication of winds going in one direction, then green is an indication of winds going in the opposite direction. Uh, this is very close to the radar site up here at the Shelby County Airport, uh, just south of Birmingham. So getting a really good look at this storm. And when I go back over to the reflectivity, uh, you can see this has a classic signature to it. Uh, and radar's uh, already picking up uh, some pretty good hail detection there. A uh, near 100% chance of hail uh, with a 90% probability of it being severe hail. So these are all indications that this storm could possibly become tornadic. Uh, so that's why we're watching this storm very closely and we're going to watch together and see if the National Weather Service extends this warning on up into Coosa County and potentially up into Talladega and Clay County. Now, we've already had one tornadic storm come through a very similar track earlier today. Uh, it was a little bit further north than this. It was up there between Jemison and Montevallo. Uh, and then it rotated on over into southern Talladega County and thankfully uh, lost some of its um, some of its 
uh, you can hear thunder in the background at my studio. Uh, thankfully, it lost some of its intensity and uh, was downgraded to just a severe thunderstorm by the time it got up into southern Talladega County. So two areas that we're watching of concern right now for East Alabama, that's that storm down there in Chilton County, and then also up here in Clay County, right along the Clay County, Talladega County line. Uh, we're watching that one too because it's beginning to take on uh, a not so pretty looking signature itself. Let me zoom out and we'll show you the big picture. And this is just the Birmingham radar, so it's not showing everything. Uh, but we still have big storms up there east of Birmingham, uh, up there where the tornado moved through earlier today, crossing I-20 right there uh, near Leeds, and then uh, moving on up and, and causing all that devastation up there around Ohatchee. Uh, with the fatalities um, this afternoon. Uh, so that same area is getting uh, storms again. Heavy rain up there just to the west of Gadsden. Uh, Randolph County, you look pretty good right now. Tallapoosa, Chambers, Lee, you're all good. But here's the problem down there in Tallapoosa, Chambers, and Lee. You haven't had anything all day long to amount to anything uh, since this morning. Uh, so this area down here is pretty much unscathed as far as the atmosphere is concerned. Uh, so as these storms continue to move on off to the east, you've got to be real mindful of things down here uh, in Tallapoosa, Chambers, and Lee, and, and Randolph, too, for the most part. Um, so now we're beginning to get a tornado vortex signature on this storm down in Chilton County. Uh, so we're going to see what the weather service does here if they pull the trigger and upgrade this thing to a tornado warning. And so uh, I'm, I'm going to look over here and see if the weather service is uh, is talking about that storm. Um, all right, so severe thunderstorm warning about to be issued for Coosa County. Uh, and the weather service is telling me that they're watching Chilton County like a hawk. So I would not at all be surprised to see severe thunderstorm warning go for Coosa and then potentially a tornado warning coming for Chilton County. Uh, that would be for downtown Clanton and to the points just east of downtown Clanton. Uh, so you folks over here in Coosa County, um, you may actually get a tornado warning out of this uh, because this storm is wrapping up and it's wrapping up quickly. Uh, as I zoom back in, you can see very distinctly here that we have an inflow notch. Uh, I actually have two different streams of inflow coming into the bottom uh, south side of this storm. Uh, we're getting that uh, vortex signature down here on the uh, southwest flank of the of the cell, which is exactly where it should be uh, if we have a tornado developing here. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what the Weather Service does with this thing uh, here in just the next few minutes. All right, there comes the severe thunderstorm warning. Severe thunderstorm warning now in effect for Coosa County. And bear with me, I'm working three different computers at the moment. text of it. Here we go. All right, so severe thunderstorm warning now in effect for central Coosa County in east central Alabama. Uh, this is in effect until 10 p.m. At 8.58 p.m., a severe thunderstorm is located over Clanton, moving northeast at around 55 miles per hour. Golf ball-sized hail and a 60 mile per hour wind gust will be possible with this storm. This is radar detected. Uh, locations in the path of this storm include Goodwater, Rockford, Kellyton, Wigufka, Stewartville, Hanover, Mitchell Lake. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Hatchet and uh, Lay Lake. So now we're going to watch and see if they decide to upgrade this thing because of the rotation uh, that's clearly showing up. Uh, over there near Clanton. Uh, questions already popping up. Is this coming to Randolph County? Not immediately. Uh, if it holds together, uh, there is a chance it could end up in Southern Clay, uh, certainly. And, you know, it's hard to tell you this far out exactly where it's going to go because sometimes when these storms start rotating like this, uh, they can actually start making a right-hand turn. So, Instead of taking on a northeast motion, uh, they could actually turn more to the east. So we'll kind of have to watch over the next three or four volume scans to see exactly what the forward motion of this storm is going to be. 
uh, as we continue to move forward. But again, we're keeping an eye on two different storms right now. One is in Clay County, just to the uh, west of Ashland. Uh, it has uh, got some pretty good hail in it from uh, looking at the radar here. We see several different areas of the storm uh, near Spring Hill that could uh, very likely be producing uh, some significant hail. I don't see the inflow notch like we were seeing on it on the last uh, scan, but again, we got to watch this storm real close too. Uh, the Weather Service has not issued anything on this just yet. Uh, but if you're in downtown Ashland, you're about to get some very heavy rainfall. Same thing up here for uh, Bowden Grove, up there around Campbell Springs, uh, Lineville. You're about to get in on the action as well. This should continue to move off to the east-northeast. So uh, Barfield, you're next in line uh, up there around Delta. And then uh, over in Randolph County, the probably from about Wedowie North uh, should get in on the action from this storm. But again, at the moment, uh, the storm that's in Clay County is not severe. Uh, the problem storm that we're keeping an eye on is this one right down here in Chilton County. Uh, and you can see now that Coosa County is now orange. That means there is a severe thunderstorm warning uh, in effect. And that warning is in effect until 10 p.m. for Coosa County of uh, East Central Alabama. All right, so I am going to Yeah, we're going tornado warning. That's what I was afraid of. National Weather Service office in Birmingham has now issued a tornado warning for Chilton and Coosa counties of East Central Alabama. At 9:03 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Verbena or near Chilton or near Clanton. Uh, moving to the east at 70 miles per hour. Uh, so that uh, is something to be concerned about if you're in Coosa County, if you're in southern Clay County, and eventually Randolph County, uh, and maybe extreme northwest Tallapoosa County. Uh, that is a, a thunderstorm producing a possible tornado now near Verbena. Uh, that is a little bit south of downtown Clanton. Uh, we had the same thing last week, uh, same area, uh, had, a, had a tornado warning down there. Uh, Verbena is going to be down here. Uh, it's going to be south of the Peach Park. It's right there where Highway 31 crosses over I-65, uh, very close to the Alabama Emergency Management Headquarters there, uh, just south of Clanton. Uh, so that's where the possible tornado is right now. It'll continue to move on off to the northeast or east-northeast. Uh, so it may actually be taking on um, somewhat of a right-hand turn here instead of going directly northeast. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at the brand-new uh, update right here. I mean, that's, that's as good a signature as you'll ever see right there. Let me go back to the velocity. Yeah, there it is. Wow. All right, so let me turn the Telestrator on. So your tornado will be right here. Uh, that's about as good as signatures you're ever going to see. And, and the motion on this thing is, is going to be something like so. So if you're in Hyssop, Hanover, let me take that off. zoom out a little bit if you're um yeah if you're in in uh, hyssop or hanover kellyton now's the time to go or kelly crossroad kelly's crossroads now's the time to go to your safe place that should be the lowest floor of your home in the center of that lowest floor of your home uh, if you can get into a closet or a bathroom uh, that's the best idea do not go into a room that has an exterior wall uh, bathrooms are often a good idea if they're in the center of your lowest floor. Uh, and when you go in, carry mattress with you, carry a uh, baseball helmet, uh, any type of helmet, bicycle helmet, uh, anything that you can use to protect your head. Make sure you have on hard sole shoes. 
All right, so uh, National Weather Service continues the tornado warning. This is for Chilton and Coosa County. At 9.06 p.m., a confirmed tornado was located over Higgins Ferry Park, or 10 miles east of Clanton, moving east at 70 miles per hour. So now we have confirmation. Uh, so we have a confirmed tornado on the ground, and that is going to be in this general area right here. I'm going to pull that up just a little bit. So uh, anywhere along Highway 22 and north of Highway 22 is not a safe place to be right now. This thing is going to pretty much parallel Highway 22 uh, over to where it crosses 231 uh, over here near Rockford. And then um, going to continue on off to the east, northeast. So Kellyton, uh, Fish Pond, Alexander City. Uh, you might even want to start thinking about where your safe place is going to be. Uh, Hanover for sure. As this storm is pretty much going to parallel Highway 22, it may end up going a little bit north of Alexander City. But if you're up here in the northwest part of Tallapoosa County, uh, Hackneyville, if you're in good water for sure uh, down to kellyton uh, you all want to be getting close to your safe place and be prepared to go there quickly if this uh, storm continues to move in your general direction and i gotta tell you it looks pretty well developed right now i mean uh, that that's a classic signature Yeah, just doesn't get much better than that. All right, so we're going to Well, I'm going to have to zoom out. That's not going to work. It's moving too fast. All right, so let's clear that off. Let's go back to that again. Let me check one other thing before I do that. Okay. All right, so it's uh, moving uh, in this general direction at about 70 miles per hour. So here are the times on the storm. We're talking about Rockford at 921, Hyssop at 924, Goodwater at 933, Alexander City around 934. If the storm holds together, we're talking New Site around 945, Southern Union around 956, Dickert around 10 p.m., Widowie around 1004, uh, we Dowie and Roanoke around 1004 to 1005 and Woodland around 1010. Now understand that this forward motion may not stay exactly the same way it is right now. So we may, may be updating that as we continue on. But in this general motion, uh, our next major city that needs to be preparing um, would be Alexander City. Now you're not under a warning just yet, but if this storm continues, uh, you most likely will. I'm going to put this in motion. And that thing is wound up as tight as it can get. That, that is pretty impressive right there. Yeah, there you go. There's the National Weather Service track going back on it. Let's switch over to level three. Yeah, 
there's your TVX right there. There's your Tornado Vortex signature. I think that I think that's a little bit behind. I think your tornado's right here. Uh, that's going to be just to the west of Kelly's Crossroads on Highway 22. You know where that's at. Um, between uh, I-65 and Rockford, that's uh, about the midway point between those two points. Um, so that's, this, this is where the tornado would be right here. All right, so here's some more updated times. Now, you folks that are way downstream or upstream, I should say, don't pay a whole lot of attention to this just yet uh, because you, you still got time. But if you're in Rockford, uh, you got about uh, 10 minutes. It's on top of you. If you're in Hyssop, uh, it'll be there around 926. Goodwater around 935. Alexander City around 937. New site around 947. And then we're going to wait and see if this thing holds together uh, as to whether or not it's going to get up into Clay or Randolph uh, down the road a little ways. So again, don't forget what you're supposed to do. Go to the lowest floor in your home. Uh, you want to go to the center portion of that lowest floor. And you want to get into a closet or a small room. Make sure that you have something to protect your head. If you have uh, any type of helmet that you can get your hands on right quick, that's the best idea. Make sure that you have on hard sole shoes, uh, blankets, pillows, uh, a mattress off of a baby bed, a mattress off of a futon, uh, cushions off of the couch. Uh, any of that stuff uh, are good, good options for you uh, to protect yourself against uh, any debris if you're in the path of the storm. All right, look at that. Boy, that's wound up tight. So your tornado would be right here. That's a little bit north of Kelly's Crossroads. Again, running parallel to Highway 22. So we have, um, we have 59 knot winds going in one direction and 83 knot winds going in another. Uh, so that's um, in the neighborhood of 60 mile an hour going in one direction and 70 mile per hour going in the other direction. That's, that's pretty significant. That's, the tornado is actually going to be up here now. Uh, that would be... just to the uh, west-northwest of Kelly's Crossroads. All right, so if we've got anybody in this area, um, if you could if you could pass along any information as to what kind of conditions you have. I 
Again, if you've just joined us, it is 9.17 p.m. Central, and we are currently watching a confirmed tornado. And that confirmed tornado is now in Coosa County. So now the tornado warning is being continued by the National Weather Service. Uh, actually, they're saying the tornado now is near Rockford. Uh, so it's moving so fast, the radar is having a hard time keeping up with it. All right, so uh, National Weather Service continues the tornado warning for Coosa County until 10 p.m. At 9.17 p.m., a confirmed tornado was located over Rockford, moving east at 70 miles per hour. Uh, and this thing continues to wind up. Uh, it's showing signs of strengthening instead of weakening. Uh, and so that would be, um, well, here, here's Rockford right here. Let me zoom out a little bit more so you can see. This is, this is Rockford right here where I've got my mouse. And the tornado is here. Uh, and you see that we're showing uh, meso detection now. That's all indications of a tornado. And that is coming right at, right at Rockford. So if you're in Rockford or anywhere north of Rockford on 231 up to about Hanover, you need to be in your safe place right now. There's US 231. There's uh, Highway 22. And so the, the tornado is right there at Rockford now, about to cross over uh, U.S. 231, right there at Rockford. Uh, so this is uh, Kellyton, you're next. Uh, so if you are in Rockford, you should already be in your safe place. If you're in the Kellyton area, anywhere on Highway 280 from Alexander City to Mount Olive, anywhere on Highway 280 from Alexander City to Mount Olive, you should be in your safe place now. Uh, a little bit further downstream, we're talking about um, Hackneyville, Goodwater. Go ahead and go to your safe place. I know Tallapoosa is not officially under a tornado warning just yet, uh, but if you're up there in Hackneyville, up there on uh, State Route 63, I would go ahead and go to my safe place now. Uh, if you're anywhere up here on Route 9, uh, that runs from... Uh, from about 280 up Highway 9 to Goodwater. Go ahead and go to your safe place. Kellyton, you should be in a, your safe place.
Again, for those of you just joining us, a tornado warning now in effect for Coosa County. You folks over in Chilton County, you're in the clear. Uh, the National Weather Service is continuing the tornado warning for Coosa County until 10 p.m. at 922. A confirmed tornado was located over Lyle or near Rockford, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. So the forward motion has slowed down a little bit. Let's track that. It's coming a monsoon in my house, too, folks. <laughs> All right, so. So uh, storm is very close. So I, I think, well, if you're in Hyssop, you need to be in your safe place also. But I think it may skip just a shade bit north of Hyssop. And again, I think the original track that we were talking about uh, about five minutes ago is going to verify. I think it's going to go just north of Alexander City or very close to Alexander City. Uh, if you're in the city, don't let your guard down here. Uh, but I think maybe it skirts just a little bit north of downtown Alexander City. Uh, I believe it's going to run between Goodwater and Alexander City. We're looking at uh, Kellyton. Uh, New Site and Goldville all in the path of this storm. Uh, you folks up there in southwest Randolph County, we're talking about places like Wadley, Malone, Almond. Uh, Corinth, uh, go ahead and start thinking about where you're going to go uh, in the event that Randolph County goes under a tornado warning. Same thing for you folks up here in southeast Clay County. Uh, let's start thinking about that now. And again, you want to go to the lowest floor of your home in the center portion of that lowest floor. A uh, bathroom or a closet's a good idea, and just carry whatever you can get your hands on to cover yourself and, and your family members. Uh, that could be a blanket, it could be a pillow, it could be cushions off of the couch. It, if you have helmets in the house, uh, batting helmets, bicycle helmets, football helmets, they all work great. Uh, so put those things on and make sure you're wearing hard soled shoes. Uh, folks scratch their head on that one, but just think about it if you have debris. Uh, if you if you have uh, have to crawl through debris to get out of your home, uh, you don't want to be walking on that stuff. Uh, so make sure you have on some hard sole shoes. If this storm continues on its present course, it's going to end up going across northwest Tallapoosa or southeast Clay uh, and then into Randolph County and would most likely end up in Georgia somewhere uh, in north, northern Heard County or southern Carroll County. And again, folks, this storm is moving so fast, uh, radar is actually having a hard time keeping up with it. So, I mean, right now, this is where I would put the storm uh, still still west of uh, 
of Rockford based off of the radar signature, but the Weather Service is, is running this thing out uh, further than that. So, yeah. So if you're anywhere around uh, Highway 231 or uh, maybe a little bit east of 231 now, uh, this thing should be right on top of you. Yeah, and so the National Weather Service, as you hear that thunder in the background, uh, National Weather Service is telling us now that the Coosa storm is becoming a little sloppy. Uh, those are their exact words, uh, which means that it doesn't look as well-defined as it did a few moments ago. Uh, however, it could be in the process of recycling, so we can't let our guard down just yet. Uh, I mean, I still see evidence of a tornado, but it doesn't look quite as significant uh, as it did uh, about 10 minutes ago, or even five minutes ago. All right, so the Chilton County 911 uh, office is reporting damage along the Carlisle Creek area. Trees down on at least one home. Power lines down uh, at this time. That's coming from Chilton County 911. So we, we, we know we have a tornado. It was confirmed. It was observed. And now we're getting damage reports from Chilton County 911 as well. Hey, Joe Knight, I see Corinth uh, fire is in the house. That makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Uh, but, but let me stress again, you folks in Southern Clay, and for the most part, Tallapoosa, except for the extreme northwest corner, uh, maybe, maybe from Daviston to New Site down to Alexander City, uh, and then uh, Southwest Randolph. Uh, you guys are the ones who need to be paying very close attention to this storm. Everybody else south of Alexander, if you draw a line from Alexander City over to Budston, in Tallapoosa County, uh, south of that line, and then right now, uh, everybody in Chambers County is okay from this particular storm. Uh, it would be those of you in extreme uh, east and northeast Coosa, uh, northwest Tallapoosa, southeast Clay, and southwest Randolph that need to be watching this thing. All right, so uh, like 30 seconds ago, the National Weather Service Office at Birmingham is continuing the tornado warning for Coosa County. At 929, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Cruzville or near Rockford, uh, moving east at 70 miles per hour now. So I'm not really sure what's going on here. Uh, they tell us 45 miles per hour in the last update. Now it's back to 70. Uh, nonetheless, uh, this tornado is moving along pretty quickly. Radar is, is showing the tornadic part of the storm still in the Rockford area. And we know they can't be quite possible, well, even if it's moving at just 45 miles per hour. It should be east of 231 now. National Weather Service has really been fighting some data issues here over the last several weeks. And I have a, 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 a sneaky suspicion we're dealing with some of that this evening as well. All right, so you can see it right there. There's no question we had a tornado on the ground. It does look like to me that it is weakening. I mean, just let me go back. All right, right here, you can actually on the on the uh, velocity product, you can 
right there, it blows up. Look just to the left of Kelly's Crossroads right there. It blows up right there. And it's right there, it's, it's very strong. And then it starts to fade about Rockford. And I'm gonna run that loop through again. It, it, it's still there, but it's not nearly as pronounced as it was about 10 minutes ago. You, I mean, you can actually see it on the, on the reflectivity. I mean, you, you can see the swirling down there. When it, when it crossed into Coosa County, it was trucking. When it crossed out of Chilton County into Coosa County, it was uh, it was bad to the bone. I mean, it was on the ground and tearing some stuff up. That's where your damage is going to be, right there along the Chilton County Coosa County line. It was still pretty strong for about four or five volume scans, and then it started to dissipate. Even though there's still evidence, we still have something going on. It doesn't look anything like it did about ten minutes ago. So we've got uh, reports of multiple homes with damage on Chilton County Road 720. Um, let me see if I can identify where that's at. I bet you it's right there on the uh, right there on the county line. hang in there with me I'm trying to identify exactly where that is I may not be able to I don't have street level mapping uh, for Chilton County I do for all of our home counties but not Chilton County okay uh, y'all can help me out somebody will see if you can find out where County Road 720 is in Chilton County if you can identify it, uh, put it over there in the text box. All right, I got a lot of folks asking, what about, what about, what about? Uh, right, if I'm not talking about your location, there's nothing to worry about at this moment. Uh, we've got an emergency situation underway here as we have a uh, tornado. We know for a fact it was on the ground when it crossed into Coosa County out of Chilton County. Uh, it is now east of Rockford, but I'll be honest with you, it doesn't look as significant as it did. Uh, but again, you folks in Kellyton, Goodwater, uh, Hackneyville, even Northern Alexander City uh, need to be ready to take action. Uh, the Weather Service has not extended the tornado warning into Tallapoosa County. So I gotta tell you, that's a good sign right now. So I just got word from the Weather Service that they're thinking this storm is done. Uh, which means it's still going to be very strong, but it may not be it may not be containing a tornado. All right, National Weather Service has just canceled the tornado warning for Coosa County. So there you go. What I was showing you was dead on. Uh, that thing was doing its number right there. Let me show it to you. All right, so this is the county line. This is the Chilton County. Coosa County line right there where I've got the cursor. Now I want you to, this is the tornado right here. Now I want, to, I want you to watch it. I'm going to back the loop up a little bit. All right, so right there it was coming across I-65 in Chilton County. By the time it got over here to the county line, it was doing its number. I mean, that's, that's, that's crazy looking right there. I mean, you can actually see it, see it wrapping. And then uh, it, it stayed pretty significant all the way to just north of Kelly's Crossroads. And then it started losing some of its signature. 
And by the time it got to Rockford, or maybe just east of Rockford, uh, it really started falling apart. Now, it is still storming up there in northeast Coosa County. You folks in Goodwater, uh, back down around Kellyton, back up uh, Highway 280 to just east of Stewartville, you're getting hammered with rain and probably some golf ball uh, or maybe dime size to golf ball size hail uh, in this area as well. And that stretches on up into southern Clay County up to around Millerville. And that's going to continue moving off to the east northeast. So we still have some some respectable weather to deal with here, even though the good news is it has lost its tornadic signature. Now, let me just go back to the velocity just to confirm that. Yeah, I mean, this is all broad rotation. You got a lot of green surrounded by a lot of red. Uh, that's very broad, and every thunderstorm rotates by definition, or it wouldn't be a thunderstorm anyway. Uh, what you want to see in, uh, let me see if I can back it up, and I'll show you what, what, what you're looking for. All right, you see down here, this is on the county line. You see right there where you have green touching red, a small spot or small area, and you actually have some white right in the middle of it. And that's just incredible. Uh, that's as good a tornado signature right there as you will ever see. And that was just as it was crossing into Coosa County from Chilton County. And that just does not seem to be there now when we bring, when we bring, um, you can see it's still there. And then it starts to lose its signature as it continues to move off to the northeast. It's still there at that point. But when it gets up here just to the east of Rockford, right about there, uh, you see the green pulls away from those brighter colors. So it's starting to weaken there. And then as we take it forward another loop, see the green going away, and there it's, it's all gone. Uh, so about just south of 280, uh, that's when the possible tornado dissipated on that Coosa County storm. We still have an inflow notch back here, so we're still going to have to keep a watch on this thing. It's possible it could be going through a recycling phase. Uh, and could regenerate, so we're going to have to watch it for a little bit longer, even though, for the most part, uh, the severe weather has, um, all except for the extreme northeast corner of Coosa County, uh, the rest of Coosa County is in the clear. Uh, so for the most part, this severe thunderstorm warning, uh, they will let it, they will probably let it expire. When does it go out? It goes out at 10 p.m. It's 941. They may cancel that early. And the good news is they're not issuing anything for clay. They haven't issued anything for, Allega for uh, Tallapoosa or Randolph. So that's all good signs. Uh, and, and so the storm is taking the exact track we thought it would. It's going to end up over here north of Alexander City. Uh, it's going to swing across extreme northwest Tallapoosa County. Uh, the north end of the storm is already up into clay, but the the southwest flanking section of this storm, which is where the possible, which is where the tornado was at one time, uh, is going to go right across northwest Tallapoosa County, just north of Alexander City. It's going to end up over here in southeast Clay, and eventually, I think it'll make it over here into Randolph County. Uh, so, you folks over here in Wadley, Almond, Malone. Uh, Corinth, uh, you got some heavy weather coming your way. Uh, hopefully this thing doesn't reform, uh, but we're going to have to watch for that possibility. All right, so I'm looking at the chat board now. Uh, Mickey says that thunder is getting a little bit heavier at Rock Stan. Yeah, Rock Stan, you've got some thunder over here just to the west. Um, so that is going to... That's going to move on over toward Rock Stan. That's why you're hearing that. Uh, the big stuff's still way back over here in south central Clay County and northeast uh, Coosa County. Uh, 
Uh, so I just got a message on Messenger from someone that says, was told it's circling back toward Wedowie and Woodland. Uh, nothing is circling back anywhere. I mean, we have a line of storms that's moving east-northeast, uh, but the possible tornado is no longer there. We're watching to see if anything reforms as it moves off uh, to the east, uh, but right now we're good. So I'm having um, a little bit of a uh, computer issue here. So I'm going to switch over to that screen while I reset uh, the radar. So just bear with me. And by the way, this is the map uh, of the areas for the severe weather tonight. I uh, think things have pretty much come to an end up there in northwest Alabama. But East Alabama remains under an enha enhanced risk. You remain under a tornado watch until 1 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, so all of East Alabama is under an enhanced risk of severe weather through about 1 a.m. And again, we're watching this area in... Coosa County that's now near Kellyton. Uh, this is the section of the storm that uh, once contained a tornado. Uh, when this thing came into Coosa County out of Chilton County, there's no question we had a tornado on the ground there. Tornado warning has been canceled, uh, though it's still showing up uh, on the radar. That'll go away in just a few moments when everything refreshes. And just looking to see if we see any type of rotation trying to uh, regenerate, and I, I don't. Uh, this would be the area just to the east and north <clears throat> of uh, Kellyton that we would want to be looking, and I don't see anything right there. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you um, because Randolph County is under a tornado watch. Uh, that watch is in effect until 1 a.m. Um, that may be part of that data issue I'm talking about that the Weather Service has been experiencing here lately. But Randolph County is under a tornado watch until 1 a.m. Central. I don't think it'll last that long, but you are under one. Yeah, this was just updated at 9.33, and it says the Tornado Watch 53 remains valid until 1 a.m. And for the following counties in central, east central Alabama, Coosa, Talladega, Elmore, St. Clair, 
Calhoun, Cleburne, Randolph, Chambers, Lee, Tallapoosa, Clay, and Macon. So let me zoom back out and kind of give you the um, overall picture of what's going on. i tell you what, let me also go over to the composite. This shows the entire southeastern United States. And it would appear that this is probably going to be probably going to be the end of it for the night, though we cannot rule out one final line forming back here. Um, I, ju I don't see it trying to happen. Uh, this is more of a broken line. We, we thought we were going to have a solid line of convection, kind of wipe all this stuff out uh, after midnight, but that doesn't appear to be setting up. So for you folks in Clay and Randolph, uh, uh, maybe eventually over here into Carroll and Hurd, th this may be the end of the story for you tonight. Uh, though we have another line back here, a small line back here in, in northwest Coosa County uh, that we're going to keep an eye on. All right, so I'm going to kind of take a look at the chat board. If you have anything to uh, to add or any questions you want to ask, now is a good time to do it because we, we currently have lost all of our warnings. Um, so I'm going to hang with you just a few more moments uh, or minutes to make sure they don't reissue something, and then I'm going to step aside and, un unless they do. So let me see what's going on over here in the chat board. Thank you, Beverly Pike. Uh, well, I was talking about Clay and Randolph has got a pretty heavy thunderstorm moving across uh, Clay County, moving into Randolph County. But right now it's nothing severe, um, though it's it's ominous looking. I got to tell you, I don't like the way this thing looks. Um, so even though we're not under a warning in Clay or Randolph, uh, everybody up here in southeast Clay extreme northern Tallapoosa uh, and southwestern Randolph County. Uh, let's stay on heightened alert right here because I just don't like the way that thing looks. Yeah, and, and just as I said that, here we go with another tornado warning. All right, so the National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for Chambers, Clay, Randolph, and Tallapoosa County. At 9.15 p.m., a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Goldville, or about 12 miles northeast of Alexander City, moving east at 60 miles per hour. So there you go. Uh, I told you I didn't like the way that thing was looking, and almost immediately they go with the tornado warning. So um, right in the bullseye, mountain community, uh, new site, you should be in your safe place uh, anywhere up there from new site to Goldville to mountain community. Uh, that is the immediate area of concern. Uh, let me give you some roads to talk about here. All right, that's uh, State Route 49. Anywhere on State Route 49 from New Site up to Goldville to Mountain City and really on up here to Cooley's Crossroads. You ought to be uh, in going to your safe place right now. All right, uh, let's look at some of these roads closer to the storm. Now understand, folks, radar scans sometime uh, can be a loop or two behind. So uh, these communities I'm talking about, you need to be going right now. 
Uh, and I'm talking mountain community up there in Clay County, uh, Goldville, and uh, New Site down there in Tallapoosa County. You need to be in your safe place right now. Uh, also, Daviston, uh, you ought to be going to your safe place now as well. Over here at Motley, go to your safe place. Let me zoom back out. Uh, Wadley, um, get ready. Uh, you're going to need to go to your safe place here pretty quick as well. Milltown, uh, Dickert, uh, up there around Broughton Ridge. And if the storm holds together, the city of Roanoke, you're going to be right in the middle of this thing if uh, the storm holds together. Now let's go to the velocity product. And here's your tornado right here. It's right there at Goldville. So it's it's on the south end of this thing. All right, so Daviston, go to your safe place right now. New site, you should already be there. Uh, it's basically just north uh, of uh, New Site, right there where Highway 22 and Highway 49 intersects at New Site. Uh, so that's very close to where the storm is. Mountain community, you got a pretty good storm hitting you up there, but the part of the storm that's containing the tornado is going to be south of you down there between Goldville and New Site. And that's going to continue to move on off to the east. Uh, so, Wadley, you need to go ahead and go to your safe place as well. This thing's winding up again, uh, just like it did earlier. So here's your here, here's your possible tornado right there. Folks, I'll get I'll get this uh, track on here for you in just a second. I'm trying to give you some times. All right, so the storm is moving northeast at around 60 miles per hour. So there are some current times for you. Uh, should be in the Wadley area in about 10:06. That's about 10 minutes from now. Southern Union about the same time. Dickard around 10:12. Uh, Roanoke around 10:18. Uh, then over into Georgia around Franklin, maybe around 1035. Remember that central time. So that would be around 1135 Georgia time. Uh, again, a tornado warning has now been issued for Northeast Tallapoosa, Southeast Clay, Southern Randolph, and Extreme Northern Chambers County. Uh, this is for a tornado that was indicated by radar over Goldville about uh, seven or eight minutes ago now. Uh, moving off to the northeast, and you can see it very clearly right there. It's going to be just east of Goldville now. Let's zoom in and let's take a look at some of the roads out here. All right. Uh, uh, it's on top of County Road 98 right now. So let's take a look right there along the Randolph County, Clay County, Tallapoosa County line. Uh, we're talking uh, County Road 79. Anywhere from Mountain Community over to down to Daviston, 
Uh, you need to be in your safe place right now. County Road 79. Uh, County Line Road. Uh, County Road 12. That's in Randolph County. Motley Road. That's down in Tallapoosa County. Cottony Road. Truett Road. Nilsson Glen Road. Of course, Highway 77. Southern Union, you should be uh, evacuating and going to your uh, designated tornado safety location. County Road 845. County Road 15. National Weather Service continues the tornado warning for Chambers, Clay, Randolph, and Tallapoosa uh, at 9.58 p.m. A confirmed tornado was located near Sparkling Springs or 13 miles south of Lake Widawi, moving east, northeast at around 60 miles per hour. All right, so now we know we have a confirmed tornado on the ground. So everybody in Wadley, go to your safe place. Malone, go to your safe place. Cornhouse Creek, safe place. Uh, Broughton Ridge, go to your safe place. If you're in Dickert, go to everywhere north of Highway 22 in Randolph County, all the way up to Lake Widawi, should be in your safe place. Uh, so I can't stress that enough. If you are north, actually, I'm going to go further south than that. If you're north of a line from Daviston to Milltown to Standing Rock, all the way up to Lake Widawi, you should be in your safe place. That includes the city of Roanoke, Dickert, Wadley, Almond Malone, um, the Friendship Community, Crystal Lake, Broughton Ridge, Cornhouse Creek, R.L. Harris Dam. All of these locations in southern Randolph County. Uh, if you're in southeast Clay County, that thing is right on top of you. Uh, extreme northeastern Tallapoosa County in northern Chambers County. Uh, you need to be in a safe place right now. And, and I have a lot of folks watch us in, in Roanoke. Uh, go ahead and go to your safe place. Sirens are going off there. Uh, they're going off all over Randolph County and probably northern Chambers County as well. Uh, this possible tornado is coming right across, not possible, but confirmed tornado uh, is going to move right across southwest portions of Randolph County. So Wadley, Southern Union, you need to be in your safe place right now. Your safe place is going to be on the lowest floor of your home, center of your floor. Uh, bathroom or closet is a good place to be. Make sure that you cover yourself up with some type of cushioning. Pillows off the couch is a good idea. Uh, pillows off the bed, a mattress, if you can get your hands on a small mattress like from a baby bed or a futon, uh, cover yourself up. That uh, mattress will help out if debris starts to fall around you. Uh, but you need to be in your safe place right now. Wadley, Alabama, Dickert, Roanoke, Crystal Lake, Broughton Ridge, Forrester's Chapel, Corinth, Malone, even down into the um, Tallapoosa area of Daviston. Frog Eye, Milltown, Chambers County, Doublehead, uh, Standing Rock, Macassius Mill, Rock Mills, High Shoals, Corn House, Malone, Crystal Lake, Roanoke, Dickert, Wadley. Take cover now. This is a serious situation. This is a confirmed tornado on the ground. This has been confirmed by the National Weather Service from folks in the area. This is not just a thunderstorm with a possible tornado. This is a confirmed tornado. This is an emergency situation. You should take cover immediately. Uh, going back to the reflectivity. Um, greatest area of concern is from Corinth in Clay County uh, down to about Motley. 
in Clay County. That's about to cross into Randolph County. So that's why I'm saying if you're anywhere between Wadley and Malone and east over to Forrester's Chapel, Corinth, um, it's, uh, Cornhouse Creek, Corinth, uh, Broaden Ridge, Crystal Lake, Roanoke, Dickert, Rock Mills, High Shoals, even as far north as Potash. You need to be in a safe place right now. Uh, you've got a tornado crossing over the Clay County, Randolph County line that is confirmed and on the ground. We Dowie, you need to be ready, but I think the storm passes just south of you. I think the storm, the core of the storm, is probably going to cross 431. Somewhere up there around Crystal Lake, just north of the radio station. Uh, maybe as far north as Needham's Hill. But I think the tornadic part of the storm stays south of Weedowie. Uh, Rock Stan, you're right in the path of this storm. All right, here's the latest from the National Weather Service. They're continuing the tornado warning. Uh, this is a considerable damage threat tornado. This is for Clay Randolph. At 10.02 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located near Wadley, or 10 miles south of Lake Weedowie, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Folks, this is as bad as it gets right here. This is a tornado emergency for southern Randolph County. We have a confirmed large and dangerous violent tornado on the ground causing damage at this time. If you are in Wadley, Malone, the city of Roanoke, Rock Mills, Rock Stan, Crystal Lake, Broaden Ridge, go to your safe place immediately. This is not a drill. This is an actual tornado warning confirmed on the ground causing extreme damage at this time. The, the tornado is actually crossing the Clay County Randolph County line as I speak. It's very close to the city of Wadley. This is a very serious and dangerous situation. You should be in your safe place immediately. Go to the lowest floor in your home, to the center of your home. You want to place a pillow, a blanket, uh, multiple blankets, um, a mattress over your head. You want to cover yourself with anything that you can put on top of you that would soften the blow from flying debris. You need to be in your safe place right now. now again, Wadley, Malone, Southern Union, Corinth, Broughton Ridge, Crystal Lake, the city of Roanoke, Rock Mills, Bacon Level, all need to be in your safe place immediately. This storm looks like it's going to run fairly parallel to Highway 22. And again, it is confirmed and on the ground. It is causing danger, uh, uh, is causing damage. This is a tornado emergency for Southern Randolph County. Again, if you just joined us, this is Dr. Don in the Southern Union State Community College Severe Weather Center. We're tracking a confirmed tornado on the ground in Randolph County, Alabama, just crossing over the Clay County line into Randolph County, just to the west of Wadley, about to move over downtown Wadley as we speak. Uh, Tornadoes of this magnitude have already caused massive damage across the state of Alabama this afternoon, including taking at least five lives in Ohatchee. Please listen to what I'm telling you. If you are in Wadley, Alabama, Corinth, if you are in Roanoke, if you're on Broughton Ridge, if you are in Rock Mills, take cover immediately. This is a dangerous storm that is confirmed and on the ground causing damage. National Weather Service continues the tornado warning. This is an observed tornado. Damage threat is considerable. This is for Randolph County. At 10.45 p.m., 
I, a correction, at uh, 10.06 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Wadley, or 10 miles south of Lake Widawi, moving east at 60 miles per hour. Lake Widawi that does not mean that you're in the path of this storm. They're just using Lake Widawi as a reference point because a lot of folks know where that's at. This storm is directly over the city of Wadley at this time. It is moving east, maybe a little bit north of due east at about 60 miles per hour. So again, Wadley, Malone, Corinth, Broughton Ridge, the city of Roanoke, Rock Mills, Bacon Level, you all should be in your safe place now. This is not a radar indicated tornado. This is a confirmed tornado that is causing damage. We know this for sure, so you need to be in your safe place now. And it's very obvious on radar. I mean, it is directly over the city of Wadley right now. Uh, maybe Southern Union, uh, but it doesn't matter. Wadley's getting hit hard and all the way up 77. Uh, we have a lot of wind right there. So Southern Union, the town of Wadley, uh, this tornado is on top of you right now. It'll continue to move off to the east, northeast. I think it will parallel Highway 22. Uh, you got to go to your safe place. If you're anywhere in uh, extreme northern Chambers or southern Randolph County, uh, I think the tornado probably is directly over Corinth now. So if you're in Corinth, you need to be in a safe place right now. This tornado is right on top of you. Uh, Forrester's Chapel, Level Road, Mount Olive, uh, just to the north of Southern Union, uh, Broughton Ridge. Uh, if you live anywhere out there on County Road 26 or Broughton Ridge, uh, County Road 33 that runs up across the western side of Randolph County, go to cover immediately. Uh, Malone, uh, let me give you some roads up here. All right, there's County Road 26. County Road 333. County Road 49. County Road 821. County Road 873. County Road 53. Uh, County Road 26, if you're anywhere on County Road 26, you need to be you need to be taking cover right now. County Road 876. And a little further down, uh, County Road 874, take cover. County Road 815, take cover. County Road 815, I just told you that one. Uh, this storm is going to cross over Highway 431, very close to Rock Stand. So everybody up here in the Rock Stand community should take cover immediately. Anywhere from Rock Stand down to Roanoke, or maybe even a little bit further south than Roanoke. Uh, the signature is a little messy, uh, but I would put the tornado right there at Forrester's Chapel. Uh, that's where... The radar indicates that it should be about right now or maybe a little bit to the east of that. So let me turn the Telestrator on. All right, so right here at Foster's Chapel, that's where the possible tornado is. Now, if you're south of Forrester's Chapel, if you're north of Forrester's Chapel, you got horrible weather, uh, and you may have tornado force winds uh, way out away from this area. I'm talking about the core of the storm is right here around Forrester's Chapel, and it's going in this general direction. So it's coming right over Broughton Ridge. Uh, it's headed directly for Rock Stand. Uh, that there, Dickert, uh, you're in danger. Mount Olive, you're in danger. 
Uh, City of Roanoke, it's going to be a close call for you. It looks like the, the possible tornado may move across 431 a little bit north of Roanoke, maybe up there somewhere between Crystal Lake and Rock Stand. Okay, just got a report uh, that, a, that a trained spotter is reporting a tor tornado on, on the ground uh, in the Corinth area. Uh, so, y'all bear with me. I got babies that live right there. Let's see. Um, all right, Corinth Forester's Chapel. I've got uh, I've got someone that's confirming that's confirming to me that they there is a tornado on the ground right there. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everybody's reporting that this thing looks extremely impressive on radar, and it's looking at um, the, even even uh, Peachtree City is talking about it now. Um, so this thing is definitely on the ground. It is definitely causing damage, uh, folks. So you've got to listen to what I'm telling you. Please go take cover. If you're in Broaden Ridge, if you're in Mount Olive, Forrester's Chapel, uh, Corn House, Rock Stand, Okay, I, I've, just, I've just got word that my children are okay. I mean, this literally came right over their house. Um, oh, oh, everybody stand by a second. Okay, uh, we got confirmation. Producer Tracy's on the phone with my son Corey, who lives there at uh, Corinth, um, and and they are confirming there's a lot of stuff tore up right there in that area, but they're okay. Thank you, Lord. Um, so now I know how James Span feels. You know, unfortunately, his home got tore up today during a tornado, and uh, that's a tough thing to continue coverage when you know that you got a loved one right in the middle of it. But uh, I've got confirmation that my family. Uh, there at Corinth is okay, uh, but there's a lot of damage in the Corinth area. I'm being told. Forster's Chapel, uh, Corinth, we have damage, folks. This tornado is on the ground. Uh, this this is serious business. Corn House, uh, Broughton Ridge. I mean, it's coming right up the ridge. If you live on Broughton Ridge, you need to be in your safe place immediately. Uh, if you're anywhere on Highway 431, if you're in Roanoke and you're thinking about going north. Uh, or if you're in Wedowie and you're thinking about going south, don't do it. Uh, just don't do it because this thing is going to cross 431 right there near Crystal Lake. Uh, maybe just a little bit north of Crystal Lake. They're north of the radio station up there around Rock Stand. So Rock Stand, you're next. Corn House and Rock Stand, you need to be in a safe place immediately. This thing's coming right at you and it is confirmed. Um, I've got family that lives right there in Corinth community. Uh, they got in the closet. Uh, they made it through the storm, but there is damage in the area. Uh, so uh, my son, who is the assistant fire chief for Corinth Fire Department, uh, I'm sure is about to go to work. Um, but but uh, Tracy just got them on the phone, and they are okay. Uh, also, um, my daughter-in-law's husband, uh, well, that's Knightville out there anyway. You know that if you're familiar with the area. So I've got multiple confirmations that my children are okay. 
All right, so here is a continuation of the tornado warning from the National Weather Service. Um, National Weather Service office at Birmingham continues the tornado warning. This is an observed tornado. The damage threat is considerable for Randolph County. Uh, at 10.15 p.m., a confirmed tornado, an extremely dangerous tornado, was located near Corinth, or seven miles south of Wedowie, moving to the northeast at 50 miles per hour. So again, that's going to put it coming right up the ridge. Uh, it, it's running right there along Broaden Ridge, and it's going to come out across 431 there, just north of Crystal Lake. Um, so if you live on, let me put some roads on here. All right, so, so there's 431. Uh, if you live on County Road 61, County Road 83. Oh, good Lord. I know you can hear that. I got thunder at my house. County Road 700, County Road 695, County Road 65, County Road 61. County Road 815. County Road 818. All these places I'm talking about, folks, it's time to go to your safe place. Uh, we've got a confirmed tornado on the ground. It's already caused damage in Randolph County. We have confirmed damage uh, over near the Corinth area of southwest Randolph County. Uh, County Road 131. Uh, your, your tornado's right here, uh, just north of Broughton Ridge. I mean, uh, you could throw a rock from County Road 26 and hit the back side of this tornado. All right, I'm getting more confirmed reports of damage in the Corinth community of southwest Randolph County. Um, and y'all just bear with me because I'm getting I'm I'm getting text messages uh, from that part of Randolph County, and I'm just I'm just reading it to you. Uh, folks who live on Broughton Ridge are telling me they got out uh, before the storm hit. That's fabulous because this is on the ground, folks. It doesn't get more serious than this. Uh, th this is what we prepare for. This is what we talk about. This is why we do live broadcast. Uh, this is why Dr. Don's weather page is here for you, uh, because Birmingham and Atlanta Television is not and cannot uh, continue live coverage in situations like this. I don't know if Span's on right now or not. Probably not, uh, because this is not in his coverage area. That's why I'm here. And uh, th this, is, this is the worst case scenario. We know we have a tornado on the ground causing damage. I have not heard of any, um, I have not heard of any injuries so far. Uh, but I know that we've got damage. I'm, I'm getting reports of damage, especially in the Corinth area, uh, Forrester's Chapel area of southwest Randolph County. Uh, about to cross over 431 now. I would say that it's crossing 431 about right now. Uh, and it's coming right at Rock Stand. Uh, this is Rock Stand right here. Uh, it's got the tornado observed uh, text message right on top of uh, Rock Stand. But that's it. Uh, this is your tornado over here. So this is coming up um, and about to cross 431 uh, right there at Rock Stand. Let me go back to the... Reflectivity. Yeah, so the reflectivity is beginning to look a little bit noisy, uh, but your tornado is right, right in this area here, uh, crossing over 431. But again, at least on the reflect, let me. Let me take a look at this from Atlanta. 
Birmingham was getting a little bit noisy right there, so. Let's switch to Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, we can see the storm a little bit better here now. Um, yeah, crossing over 431 right now. Let me go back to the velocity. Yeah, there it is, right there. Oh, actually, it's 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 near high shoals now. It has crossed 431. Actually, I've got two different areas of rotation now. I've got rotation just south of Tin Shop. That's a little bit broad. Uh, but if you're south of Tin Shop and northwest of High Shoals, you should be in your safe place anyway because this is the actual tornado back here. Um, crossing 431 there around Rock Stand. Uh, but more rotation showing up between Tin Shop and High Shoals. All this is moving off to the northeast. Uh, this will be out of Randolph County. And uh, now the National Weather Service at Peachtree City has issued a tornado warning for Heard County uh, for the same storm. Uh, so if you're in Heard County, if you're in Franklin um, or back toward the uh, Randolph County line, Waresville, Adamson, Ridgeway, Viola, uh, go ahead and go to your safe place. We have a possible tornado now near Rock Stand, just to the east of Rock Stand, moving to the northeast in Randolph County. Roanoke, good news is... Uh, the tornadic part of this storm is going to stay just north of Roanoke up around Rock Stand. Now, you're, you're about to get some very heavy weather in Roanoke, uh, but the tornado portion of this storm is up there around Rock Stand, and it's moving off to the northeast. So High Shoals, Springfield, we had key. Time to go to your safe place. This uh, possible, or the tornado... We know for a fact it was on the ground in southwest Randolph County. So we're going to assume that it still is. You need to go to your safe place. All right, so at 1123, National Weather Service Birmingham continues the possible or the tornado. This is still observed, so we still have one for sure. Uh, damage threat is considerable. Uh, this warning is for Randolph County, Alabama at, at uh, 10.23 p.m. A confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Crystal Lake or just north of Roanoke, moving to the east at 45 miles per hour. Uh, so again, this is a very dangerous situation. This is a tornado emergency continuing for eastern Randolph County. Uh, from just east of Rock Stand all the way over uh, to the Alabama-Georgia state line. Heard County, Georgia, you have now been placed under a tornado warning. If you are in Waresville, Adamson, back into Alabama, High Shoals, uh, Weehadkey, Springfield. Rock Mills, I think this stays just north of you. Uh, but if you're up there on County Road 87... Uh, if you're at the, in, in the Springfield community or we Hatke community or High Shoals community, go to your safe place. Again, this is a tornado emergency. We have a confirmed tornado on the ground. It's been on the ground since it moved out of Tallapoosa County uh, about an hour ago now uh, and has stayed on the ground all the way through Randolph County. Uh, so we are going to have a path of destruction all the way from Corinth uh, through Rock Stand and now over into eastern Randolph County. Uh, so if you're up here in High Shoals, uh, we had key. Springfield community. This thing's coming right at you. Uh, you folks up there in Woodland. I think this stays south of Woodland. Uh, Wedowie, you're pretty much 
Uh, Wedowie is in the clear from the tornado, from this particular tornado. Now, we do have another uh, line of showers about to move into Wedowie, but right now that's not severe. <coughs> uh, tin Chop, I think the actual tornadic part of this storm stays a little bit south of you. But if you're in High Shoals, the High Shoals community, or the Springfield community, or we had key, you need to be in your safe place right now. Uh, so I'm seeing reports of power outages uh, in Randolph County. And right now, the uh, Alabama power power outages showing uh, about 10% of the county without power. Uh, so that that's a large number, actually. Uh, so about 10% of Randolph County, for those of you that are on Alabama power, are currently showing without power. And now you can go back down here. You see Clay County is not showing anything. Tallapoosa is not showing anything, but Coosa County is. And so is Chilton County. This, this storm started in Chilton County and then moved into Coosa. It died out a little bit, then it fired back up. Uh, and then it really spun up good about the time it got to Corinth. And it dropped a tornado there. Uh, and about 10% of Randolph County is reported without power now. Uh, back to the radar again. So... Again, this thing, let me go to the base velocity. Yeah, it is still there. Uh, now the, um, the rotation will be right over Springfield. Uh, so if you're in eastern Randolph County in the area of Springfield, this rotation, uh, the tornado was right on top of you. Folks in Weehanke, you should be in your safe place. Even down to Center Chapel, uh, I, I, just to be on the safe side, I'd be in my safe place at my home. Uh, Waresville, this is over in Georgia. You're about to get it next. Uh, then you folks over in Texas, Georgia, need to be taking cover now. Heard County is also under a tornado warning. Uh, this is coming right at Franklin. So all you folks over here in Franklin, Georgia, Heard County, this is an, an observed tornado. It's confirmed. It's on the ground. Uh, so everybody uh, up here in Franklin, Georgia, you need to take cover immediately. Uh, we have confirmed damage on this tornado all the way back into southwest Randolph County. Uh, I'm getting a question, is Rock Stand in the clear? Yes, from the possible tornado, Rock Stand is in the clear. Uh, Broughton Ridge is in the clear. Uh, Corinth is in the clear. Wadley is in the clear. Southern Union, you're good. Uh, all of Clay County is good. Tallapoosa and Chambers, you're all good. Uh, the majority of Randolph County is good now, except for the extreme eastern side of Randolph County up there around Springfield. Uh, so the tornado is quickly approaching the Alabama-Georgia state line. If you live in Waresville or anywhere near Waresville, you need to be in a safe place immediately. All right, so we have confirmed power outages in Wadley and near Southern Union as well. And I'm not at all surprised. All right, so this tornado is now crossing over the state line and about to move into Georgia. Uh, National Weather Service office continues the tornado warning. A uh, damage threat is considerable. At uh, The warning is in effect until 1045. At 1031 p.m., a confirmed tornado... A confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located. Uh, well, this is saying near Crystal Lake, but that's impossible. Uh, it, it's over here in the eastern sections of Randolph County. It, it's over here near Springfield. Uh, th that, there's your tornado right there. Uh, it is uh, Springfield, just a little bit east of Springfield, crossing into Georgia. I'm not really sure what the deal is with uh, 
that last update from the National Weather Service because that is incorrect. Uh, as a matter of fact, the warning has already been shaved off back uh, toward Crystal Lake, so uh, that is inaccurate information. Uh, the possible tornado is in the process of crossing over the into Georgia out of Alabama, but uh, County Road 87 up there, um, Springfield, north of Rock Mills, up there just south of Weehadkey. Uh That's where the heaviest part of, the <clears throat> of this storm is right now. <clears throat> County Road 22 over here as you go into Georgia, where it turns into County as when it turns into Georgia 34. Uh, bad place to be out there where the uh, you know, where everybody goes to get their lottery tickets. <laughs> uh, that's not where you want to be right now. This storm is coming right through that area. Uh, Waresville, you're next in line. All right, so I just switched over to uh, the National Weather Service office uh, in Peachtree City, uh, their chat room, and they're talking about uh, okay. So the uh, warning uh, meteorologist on duty at uh, Peachtree City is saying this storm appears to be weakening some. All right, getting reports that the Roanoke side of Dickert is also reporting loss of power. I, I think the po I think the tornado probably tracked a little bit north of Dickert, um, but but no question uh, the wind was high enough out there to have some power outage. Uh, first, the first confirmation that we had one on the ground was directly over Corinth. Or, or maybe just a shade bit southwest of Corinth, when it was just north of Wadley. Uh, then it then it then it tracked uh, right over Friendship Community, uh, right over Crystal Lake, or just north of Crystal Lake. Then Rock Stand, uh, and, and now uh, near the Springfield Community, now east of Springfield, actually moving into Georgia, but. I mean, there's definitely still indication that we have a tornado there, but it does not look quite as strong as it once did. All right, so I'm, uh, you folks in Franklin, you got to take cover. It's coming right at you. So I am, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the chat room now. So if anybody has anything, if you have any reports of damage, um, that, that, that's the main thing I'm looking for. And, and if you if it's been a few minutes since you posted, if you have something, please post it again because it's impossible uh, for me to go back and look at everything. Um, so if you know of any damage anywhere, yeah, that 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 uh, those sirens going off again in Roanoke. That's uh, that's. Hang on. All right, folks, I'm, I'm going to show you what's going on here. Uh, the Weather Service, uh, the, the last tornado warning they posted, um, they had some erroneous information in it. <clears throat> and that's why the sirens are going off again in Roanoke. Your tornado is way up here, uh, crossing into Georgia. You see where the polygon is. And the storm is moving to the east. Uh, Roanoke is way down here. Your storm is to well to the northeast of Roanoke, moving into Georgia. Uh, they have not. They have not issued uh, a new tornado warning for the city of Roanoke. Uh, and uh, if you've been with me all night, I, I was talking about that a few moments ago or an hour or so ago before the 
before Randolph County got under the gun, uh, there had been some erroneous information coming from the Weather Service. They've been having data issues. All right, so Randolph County Sheriff's Office is reporting some trees down across County Road 33. Uh, tree pro- possibly hit a car on County Road 33. No, they do not continuously go off until the tornado warning is cleared. They will for the area that's being affected. Uh, but the, the siren should not be going off in the city of Roanoke right now. You are not in any danger of a tornado right this moment. All right, so the National Weather Service has just canceled the tornado warning for Randolph County. That's what I'm telling you, folks. Roanoke, uh, the, the second round of sirens in Roanoke was, was uh, unnecessary. Uh, they just canceled the tornado warning for Randolph County. The part of the storm containing the tornado is way up here uh, in Georgia now. Uh, it is going to be... It's going to be right here. Um, it's going to be near Texas, Georgia. That's out there on 34 uh, between the state line and Franklin. Um, so... The portion of the storm containing the tornado is out of Alabama now. Uh, So Randolph County, you are now in the clear. Uh, Heard County, not so much. This thing's coming right at Franklin. So I want everybody in Franklin. I want everybody in Texas, Georgia, Viola, uh, Rock Ridge, Franklin. I want you to go to your safe place now because this is coming right at you. And uh, this is nothing to mess with. We know we've got damage back in Alabama from this storm. Uh, So take it seriously. It's time now to take cover. You want to go to the lowest floor in your home, basement if you've got one. If not, go to an interior room on the lowest floor. Make sure that your uh, head and body is covered by mattress. If you can get your hands on it, blankets, pillows, anything that can help soften a blow from debris. Uh, No, Carrollton, you're fine. Uh, No doubt you've got some weather, but the part of this storm containing the tornado is well south of Carrollton. Uh, This is going to be over in Heard County. It's headed for Franklin. Uh, no need for the sirens to be going off in Widawi either. Um, I don't know. Maybe Randolph County blows every siren in the county when there's a warning somewhere in the county. Um, but Widawi was never in any danger. Uh, Roanoke was in danger on the first warning. Uh, but this second one, uh, there was no need for that either. Uh, the storm was never threatening Roanoke after it crossed over 431, that threat for Roanoke went away. All right, so let me zoom out and see what else is going on. Um, didn't didn't mean to ignore you, Alexander City, but you don't have anything severe down there. Uh, we do have one heavy cell there just, um, just east of Wadley, down to around Milltown. Well, there's a brand new... Um, volume scan and now that's gone <clears throat> so we we do have um, some heavy rain moving into Roanoke and, and some thunder and lightning but that part of the storm is not the part of the storm that had the pos- that had the tornado I keep saying possible tornado because <laughs> that's the way it is most of the time but that is not the way it was tonight that was for real folks um, and, and when the as the evening goes along we're going to find more and more tornado damage in randolph county uh I, i'm just hopeful that we we don't see any any injuries uh, so far i haven't heard of any uh question about troop county no troop county the storm's going to stay well to your north uh, it's headed for franklin if you live in franklin the city of franklin you need to be in your tornado evacuation spot right now uh, it's coming right at downtown franklin All right, so now the tornado watch has been canceled for Calhoun, Chambers, Clay, Cleburne, Coosa, Elmore, Lee, Macon, Randolph, St. Clair, Talladega, and Tallapoosa. 
Uh, so, again, let me read those counties for you. The Tornado Watch has now been canceled for Calhoun, Chambers, Clay, Cleburne, Coosa, Elmore, Lee, Macon, Randolph, St. Clair, Talladega, and Tallapoosa. If I just called out your county, you are now in the clear. Uh, Heard County, Georgia is under the gun right now. And Franklin, you're it. I mean, this thing is right on top of you now. Go back to the base velocity. Actually, I think it's going to be just a little bit north of Franklin now. And it, it again... I'm going to call... No, I'm not either. I think it's right there just north of downtown Franklin. I think it's right in this area right here. This looks suspicious, but it's backwards. It should be red on green. Uh, so I'm going to stay down here. Uh, anywhere uh, along here. Uh, Highway 34 uh, running pretty pretty much parallel to Highway 34, north of Highway 34, uh, and east of 27. Uh, right there just north of Franklin is the area of concern right now. Uh, but again, Randolph County, you're in the clear, uh, so it is safe to uh, start assessing damage in Randolph County. And listen to me well, Heard County, we've got damage in Randolph County. Uh, this thing is still on the ground, and it's dangerous. Right, getting some reports of maybe some damage in rock stand as well. Getting a lot of information here, so it's kind of hard to sift through all of it, but I'm going to try. Okay, they're safe though. That's all that matters. Um, so I've got, I just got report that my son's house has sustained damage. Um, he has a shop in his backyard and has collapsed on top of his vehicle. And uh, they have, they have rain pouring into their home, but they're alive. And um, so the house can be fixed. The, uh, the garage can be repaired. And uh, a new vehicle can be purchased if, if that's what needs to be. God's, God's grace saved their life. And uh, <clears throat> that's all that, that, that's the most important part. All right, so uh, folks, again, uh, we're watching this tornado that, that caused all the damage back in Randolph County. Uh, now moving just north of downtown Franklin uh, over in Heard County. Uh, so now we have a tornado warning for Coweta County. Uh, so that's going to be for the city. Tracy, can you come get this? Uh, this is a tornado warning now for for Coweta County. Uh, this is uh, this possible or this tornado is going to be headed right straight toward Noonan. That's Shelby. A tornado headed toward Noonan. Uh, so folks, again, we have known damage back over in Alabama. Have not seen, um, I have not seen reports of damage in the Franklin area, but this thing looks pretty strong, so uh, I'm not going to be at all surprised to see damage in Franklin. It's coming right straight toward Noonan. Uh, so, Calita County, you're next uh, in line for this storm. You need to take cover immediately. And I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look at some of the comments too, folks. Uh, oh, thank you, Carolyn. That's sweet. I appreciate that. You know, he lives out there amongst a bunch of knights. <laughs> and and I, I know they're going to be okay. He's the assistant fire chief out there too. So he's, he's going to have his hands full the rest of the night. Um, and uh, his in-laws live in Roanoke. So... I'm sure that's probably uh, that's probably where Eric and the kids are headed, and Corey's going to be busy probably most of the night. Um, but again, uh, <clears throat> they're not they're not hurt. Um, but this thing formed right on top of their house. I mean, literally just dropped out of the sky right there at their home.
Uh, thank, thank, thank all of you for your comments and your thoughts and your prayers. Uh, they're okay. We've talked to them, and they're okay, and that's that's all that matters. The damage that they have sustained at their house uh, can be repaired. Uh, their their lives could not. So uh, <clears throat> they're fine. All right, um, that was among <clears throat> one of the hardest things I've ever done in my lifetime right there, folks, and I've been doing this a long, long time. Uh, and, you know, that was tough knowing your children were right up under the bottom of it, but all of you guys uh, in Randolph County are my family. I uh, have been for a long time and always will, and uh, my heart just starts skipping every time we get one of these things in the county. You know, we've been awfully lucky over the years, we haven't had many tornadoes in Randolph County. Uh, I think when the sun rises tomorrow morning, though, we're going to see that this may, uh, we may have just written the record books for Randolph County and tornadoes. Uh, I'm awfully afraid we're going to see a lot of damage across southwest Randolph County, uh, uh, up across 431 near Rock Stand, and then over here in uh, eastern Randolph County, uh, over here near High Shoals and Springfield. Uh, tornado actually kind of took a, a right-hand turn when it got to Rock Stan uh, and then just really started moving due east, uh, maybe a little bit north of due east. But um, I'm, I'm going to draw the path here as it came through Randolph County. <clears throat> Bear with me here on my, on my drawing. That's about the path the thing took. It, 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 it formed back over here in Tallapoosa County, but first confirmation of touchdown was right over here, uh, right there on the river, right on the, um, right there on the Randolph County, <coughs> Clay County line there, just north of 77 actually. Uh, and, and then it moved in this general direction passed directly over Corinth, Friendship Community, uh, between Rockstan and Crystal Lake, and then over there, up there, uh, between High Shoals and Springfield, Wehatke, Waresville, uh, and continued up on up to near Franklin, and is currently over in uh, Coweta County, headed toward Noonan. But that is out of our coverage area. So, um, um, I'm, I'm somewhat dazed right this moment. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> so, so what I, I what I'm going to do now is uh, I, I'm I want each and every one of you to continue to send me information if you um, if you know of damage. I mean, confirmed damage uh, anywhere in Heard County, Randolph County, or back down into Tallapoosa, or even southeast uh, Clay County. If, if you know of confirmed damage, um, please text me or send me a message and let me know uh, of what you know, so that I can uh, so that I can pass it along to everybody. Uh, Elaine, the last uh, I, we just got off. Tracy just got off the phone with my son. They have damage at their house. Um, uh, my son's garage is completely destroyed. His vehicle's inside of it. They've got water leaking in their house, but they're okay. Um, so that's all that matters. All right. So question now: Is there anything else behind this? And the answer is no. We that we have that that was it. Um, I mean, there are a few scattered light showers back there, maybe occasional heavy rain, uh, but no more severe. Uh, as a matter of fact, the tornado watch has just been canceled uh, for all of East Alabama. So 
Uh, all of East Alabama is in the clear now. Um, please don't um, ride into the areas where we know we had a tornado on the ground because now first responders are going to be working this area all night. Uh, and they just don't need folks out there uh, riding up and down the roads trying to see what they can see. It's dark outside, folks. You're not going to see anything anyway. Um, so let, let the first responders do their work. And I'm talking about from Corinth over to Roxanne, uh, all the way over to uh, the Springfield community. Uh, we had key community over there on the eastern side of Randolph County. Uh, that, that's where the track was. Uh, so stay out of those areas. Let, let first responders do their work. Um, no more severe weather tonight for East Alabama. All of the East Alabama counties have been released from the tornado watch. Um, the most serious storm we have right now is this one over here in Georgia. Uh, this is about uh, 15 miles west of Noonan now. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's right on Highway 34. I mean, literally, um, you see the notch right there. That's the tornado. Well, now here we go. Uh, that's the tornado right there. It's literally riding right on top of Highway 34. Uh, and, and it's, it's coming up on the bypass that goes around Noonan. Uh, everybody the, in this part of the country knows where I'm talking about. Uh, so it's going right up Highway 34 uh, and about to cross over Noonan. Now that is in the Atlanta television market. And Glenn Burns is all over this right now, I guarantee you. So um, so if, if you happen to be in this area watching me right now, uh, go ahead and, and go to WSB and watch the television coverage of this because you've got live wall-to-wall -wall coverage going on right now from Atlanta Television. Uh, I do what I do because East Alabama and sometimes West Georgia just doesn't get that live wall-to-wall -wall coverage from Birmingham or Atlanta uh, as they deserve. So that's why I do what I do. Uh, but this tornado now is well into the Atlanta market. So uh, we've got live coverage. I just glanced over one of the monitors and, and all of the uh, four majors in Atlanta are covering this tornado. So uh, you got plenty of television coverage out there. Okay, we dowa, yeah, it's raining pretty good right there now. Uh, but that's not severe. Uh, the tornado watch has been canceled for all of our East Alabama counties, even though you may still uh, be getting some thunder and lightning and some rain. And it, it could be windy, too. Understand this wind is not thunderstorm. It's non-thunderstorm wind now in Randolph County. You're, we were, this is gradient wind. Um, so the wind's going to blow whether you have a storm in your area or not, uh, most likely for the remainder of the night. Uh, folks, if you if you want to help us out here at Dr. Don's weather page, uh, real easy, quick, safe uh, to do so. You don't even have to have a PayPal account. All you have to do is go to paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX. Uh, that is our PayPal account, and we uh, depend on each and every one of you uh, and our partners to keep us going here at Dr. Don's weather page. And uh, we appreciate anything you could possibly do at paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX. Uh, if you just don't do the online internet thing and you still want to help us out, uh, just, send me a, just send me a message on Messenger and I'll tell you how you can help us out uh, if you don't want to do the PayPal thing. Um, so, um, well, look guys, uh, <clears throat> everybody's saying thank you. Thank, thank you all for joining me. We went well over 2,000 uh, viewers tonight that was recorded uh, now most of the time that's only a fraction of your actual audience I glanced over at one time and we were well over 2,000 views that is by far the largest audience we have had at any given time since I started doing this about two and a half years ago uh, fortunately this is the only this is only the second real tornado threat we've had in that length of time uh, the other one was a tornado that went right across southern Wedowie about a year and a half or two years ago. Um, well, I think April will be two years ago. Um, and then tonight, unfortunately, uh, we actually had one on the ground that caused, I'm afraid, caused some significant damage. Now, the good news is the area that it went through in Randolph County uh, is not extremely heavily populated. 
Uh, we have a lot of woods and a lot of pastures. Um, so I'm not, I'm not seeing, uh, I'm not hearing or seeing about a tremendous amount of damage, even though I know for a fact we have at least one home damaged in Corinth. That's my son's. Um, a brand new shop. He hadn't had it long at all. Big metal, nice metal building. Uh, apparently has uh, sustained some pretty, some pretty significant damage, uh, and, and a vehicle was also inside of it. But hey, that is okay. That stuff can be replaced. Um, they're okay, and that's all that matters. All right, folks. So I'm going to go now, so that I can actually talk to him. I want to hear his voice. <laughs> So I'm going to go and, and call them and, and check on them. Uh, God bless you all. Thank you for joining me tonight. Again, the severe threat has ended for Alabama. Uh, the threat continues for Noonan, Georgia. However, Atlanta Television now has that, that area, and they are providing live coverage. Uh, so we're going to leave you with it for now. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. We'll see you back in here tomorrow. Good night, folks. Thank you.